Hey guys! So today I'm adding another video to my high low fashion styling ideas series and it is going to be focusing on this Louis Vuitton monogram shawl. I'm going to be showing you five different outfit ideas featuring this shawl and for each outfit I am going to be wearing the shawl in a different way so you can get some more ideas on how to create different types of looks with this one shawl. And as always I am going to keep all of my clothing items to under $100 so that way we can keep more money to invest into these design accessories. Before you get into the video, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Isabel. It is so nice to have you here. I do new videos every single week relating to high low fashion styling. So if this is something that you like, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. So firstly, I'm going to be really briefly going through my thoughts on these shawls. And if you want to skip this bit and go straight into the outfits, I'll leave a timestamp down below in the description box and on the screen as well, so you can go straight there. But if you are thinking about getting one of these shawls or if you want to know a little bit more about them, hopefully this first bit will give you some information. So I absolutely love the look of these shawls. For the most part, my outfits are quite simple and really sometimes really plain. Once I chuck this shawl on, I feel like it really elevates all of the looks so I might be just wearing a really plain t-shirt and some jeans and I chuck this on and it makes the outfit instantly more interesting and more put together so I do love chucking this on over any of my outfits I absolutely think this whole monogram thing going on is just really really pretty but for some of you this whole monogram thing might be a little bit too loud and too showy and if that's the case they do have more subtle versions so this is called the monogram denim shawl and this is called the classic monogram shawl as you can see you can still see the monogram pattern but it is not nearly as obvious as this one so this one's more of a tone on tone look where you've got the contrasting colors going whereas the monogram shawls they come in so many different beautiful colors so they do all the neutral colors and they also do some fun poppy colors as well but these ones are more subtle because if you look really closely you can see the monogram but from afar you wouldn't be able to tell that this is a Louis Vuitton show so if this is more of your style I definitely recommend this so in my collection at the moment, I just have the two shawls. So I like having this one because I wear a lot of jeans and also I wear a lot of blacks and grays and whites and this denim shawl really ties in the colors really nicely. And then I added this one because I wanted a more understated option as well. And also because this is more of a cool tone and this is still on the cool tone neutral, but this can work with more warm tone colors better. So I feel like I've got all different colors covered between these two shawls. So apart from the denim and the classic monogram shawl, they also have the shine monogram shawls and that one has a lot of shimmer to it. My mom owns one and it's also very stunning, but in my opinion, that one's really, really dressy. So apart from being very classic and timeless, they are also very, very versatile. So it is very easy to wear it casually, but you can also totally dress them up. So because they are so classic and timeless, and versatile they are really worth the price point so they do retail for $730 here in Australia at the moment I know that's a very very high price for a shawl but I really feel like you can really get your cost per wear down so not only they're so versatile and timeless and classic and they can work for all ages also, I feel like you can wear this all year round. So I think they are actually more, more of a trans-seasonal item, but I actually make it work all year round. So of course it works in the spring and the autumn time, but also in summer, whenever I'm indoors and there's really strong air conditioning, I always get a little bit chilly. So I always carry one of these around. It looks a lot better than wearing a jumper or cardigan in the summertime. You can just simply put this over your shoulders and it'll keep you warm. And also even in summer, when you're out and about in the evening time you never know when it's gonna get a little bit chilly so it's really nice in summer also when you fold it up you can make it really really compact and it lays really flat so whenever you're carrying a medium to large bag there is no problem it really literally takes not much room in your bag so it's so easy to carry around and you may already know from watching a lot of other videos out there on these monogram shorts but there is one con apart from the price of course and that is that this material is very delicate and it does snag very easily I noticed my first snag after a first couple of wears so if you can see this you can see that the threads have come loose so that's one example right there there is another example right there where the lighter thread has just come loose there but as you can see because this is quite a busy scarf with all of the monograms going on 
I feel like it's not very obvious so it doesn't really bother me that it does snag easily because when you're wearing it you can't even tell or see. I actually had to look quite closely to show you those snags. So that doesn't really bother me but if you are very pedantic and you don't like to see any signs of wear and tear maybe this scarf will drive you crazy every time you see a snag so you might want to consider a different scarf. I hear Burberry's wear really well. So now I'm going to start with the outfits and if you like any of the clothes that I'm wearing I will leave a link down below in the description box to the items that I'm wearing so hopefully it'll be easy for you to find them and check them out. So this is the very first look I'm going to show you and it's very very simple. I've just got a plain white t-shirt and I've just got some blue jeans and this denim shawl works really well with anything denim. It looks amazing and I even like pairing this denim shawl with a denim jacket as well and that also looks really amazing. So with this outfit I wore it very simply by the way, this shawl is really, really massive. It's a perfect square and it measures 142.5 centimeters and the square so each way is the same. So all I did was I actually folded it into a giant triangle and you grab the two ends and all you do is wrap the ends around your neck and bring the ends across to the front and literally just let the edges hang and that's a very nice easy look. And if you find this is just too much material hanging around, I also like making it into like a triangular scarf. And all you do is grab the two ends and tuck it under and make a knot underneath. So just tie it up underneath. And once you've made a knot and tied it under, just hide it underneath the triangle and cover it up. And it becomes a really nice neat looking triangular scarf. So the second look I'm going to share with you is this blazer look. So this is more of a smart casual look and I absolutely love this blazer. I showed it to you in my Gucci belt video and I absolutely love tying the shawl like this. So it's nice and neat and it really makes the whole blazer look really sophisticated. And because I'm wearing a black blazer, I also turned the shawl around to the other side to showcase more of that lighter gray, which I think complements this outfit really well. Now, this is my favorite way of tying this shawl at the moment. And this is actually quite a recent thing I've learned from another YouTuber. Her name is LVOE is LV. I'll leave her name down here and I'll also link to her video that she did teaching you how to tie the shawl like this. And I just love this whole braid detail and this just looks so nice and sophisticated and you don't see this everywhere so it makes the shawl look a little bit more special. So this is look number three. I made it into a massive rectangle and then I just draped it over so that it looks like a bit of a vest and I am wearing a high-waisted belt. This just looks like I'm just wearing another layer of vest over my top. So this works over any of your plain tops or any tops that you like. So you can work in summer with these sort of short sleeve tops and even in winter if you had a really nice long sleeve plain top black or white or any color this will look amazing. So it takes your plain outfit to some something a bit more special and this will act as your statement piece. So the way that I did that was to just fold the scarf into half. So it's a massive giant rectangle. Fold it again, long ways, still a giant rectangle and one more time. And that's the width that I've used but you can do it any sort of width that you like. And all I did was then I put it over my neck and make sure the two sides are the same length. Once I've done that, I just kind of put them together and I just grabbed my belt and you just make sure the belt is nice and tight and high-waisted and that's it. So this is look number four. So this is more of a dressy look and I'm just wearing the shawl as a classic shawl. So I've just got a black dressy romper underneath. It'll work for a dressy dress as well. And you can either just wear it like this just kind of around your back or if you get a little bit cold you can always pull this up and wear it like a classic shawl style and to do this all you need to do is to just fold the shawl into the triangular half again and just drape it over and voila and lastly this is not really a look or anything but i do love taking this to the cinemas and wherever i get a little bit cold because it is so massive I just use it as a little mini blanket. 
and this is my favorite piece to carry around because when you fold it up like I said before it is so small and tiny so it is so easy to carry and as soon as you get a little bit chilly just take it out and there's your blanket. So they were my favorite ways of styling this scarf and the different ways of wearing it. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you soon again. Bye guys.